I think when it boils down to it, I, I, I wanted to, I wanted the sunshine a little bit longer. You know, that's really what it comes down to for me. I, I want, I like the sunshine. I like, I like what we've built here. Um, starting with ownership, the head coach, the GM on down, we have a great group of guys in the locker room and, uh, I want to reap, reap the rewards with them a little bit longer. So Ben Johnson wanted to stay in the sunshine in Detroit. So the what? do you the expect what? <laughs> that's the, what the his who? words, his words. The what? He wanted to stay in the sunshine of Detroit. We it's legal in Detroit, ain't it? A lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah, that's like you could, I've heard Detroit described in a lot of ways. I never heard someone say I like the sunshine here in Detroit. I know what he's alluding to, but it's never sunny in Detroit. It's violent. That's about it. But you know, here's what's interesting about Ben Johnson, right? Ben Johnson, according to the insiders, was offered the commander's job. It was his mm -hmm. job. And Seattle had an interest in him. I think he was a finalist for that job as well. So t it tells you a lot about a guy and how he perceives jobs when he made a decision. And I know he got a raise to stay in Detroit, but he's not making head coaching money, which is a whole different stratosphere financially. He essentially said no to two opportunities to potentially be a head coach in the NFL with Washington and Seattle to stay in Detroit as a coordinator. Now, if Detroit has the same exact year, nothing better than what they did last year, obviously he'll get another opportunity and get interviewed to be a head coach. But he obviously thinks we have a shot. Everybody comes back. We got our key guys signed up you know, to good deals, so everybody's happy right now. Our defense is going to be even better than it was last year. We already have a great offense with Jared Goff, your man it. Uh, I've got a shot to be the coordinator of a Super Bowl team, and that to him was more valuable to run it back one more year. I don't think he's there two years from now because you don't say no twice to a head coaching job, but he thinks I'm this close to getting a Super Bowl in Detroit. Let me take one more crack at it. And I'll say this. We always view the world as being dominated by money, and it largely is, right? How much guaranteed money can you make? Because if you get fired, ain't nobody worried about how you're paying your mortgage, right? And we've all lived that in our own lives. So the fact that this guy turned down maybe five, six, seven extra million dollars a year to be a head coach because he believes in what he's doing there says a lot about who that guy is. I mean, right now, if, if Washington commanders offered him the head coaching job, I mean, you, you can say that it's an unstable organization because you just don't know, know what you're going to get out of Josh Harris and his group. Right. They're talking about changing the name again or whatever the case may yeah. be. And I understand why he stays in Detroit. He's comfortable. Yep. He's in a great situation. Like I say, he got a pay, pay raise. Dan Campbell's going to keep him around for a long time. Jared Goff just got paid. They have a great offense. I think they were ranked third in the total NFL and second on, and only to, uh, to uh, San Francisco 49ers in the NFC. So he has a good thing going. Um, I believe that the Detroit Lions are, are going to be good this year. Uh, will they get to the NFC Championship game? Uh, I don't believe so. Are they on the you know, cusp of being a championship contender? Yep. They are. But I just think they're a few things that they need to get you know, straight yeah, out, probably and, defensively. And like we talk a lot. Athlete. I think they have gotten better. I think they're a very good football right. team. I think they've gotten even a little bit better, more so on defense than even on offense, which is already yeah. very, very good. Their schedule's very favorable for them because, as you and I talk about a lot, Playing you don't indoors. have to play a lot of outdoor games in December in bad yeah. weather. So that obviously suits them well uh, in what Jared got where he plays well right. as opposed to outside in the elements. Uh, but also, to, you also have to remember this, and I think it's what um, – they spoke about after they got eliminated by San Francisco in the playoffs last year. As good as we think we are, every team is going to get a little bit better in their goal to uh, you know, uh, chase us, catch us, and pass us. Green Bay is going to be a better football better. team. Yeah. Chicago is going to be a better football team. Now, I think Detroit's as good as they were last year and maybe even a little bit better, A, from experience, going through what they went through last year and B, because they brought in more talent, right? Yeah. They've also committed to their stars. Sewell gets a contract. Amon St. Brown gets a contract. Jared Goff, they all got contracts. Everybody in Detroit is happy and they're competent and they are the favorites, rightfully so, to win their division. But it's, you know, it's this, the window's like this. So I understand why Ben Johnson came back. Most coordinators, just so you know, just give you a comparison, make about a million, a million five a year to be a coordinator in the NFL. It's usually about the starting salary. He's making about three. So he doubled what most coordinators get. But if he was a head coach, 
he'd be making seven for, right. as a first-year head coach. So he's also trading off last year's success and willing to wait another year before he makes the life-changing money. But like you, I think that he will get an offer next yeah, year. Yeah, I would also say this just real quick. I would have taken the money. <laughs> I would have taken the money. Well, I do want to circle back. Take to the, the can, money. Can we show that video again of, of them practicing at OTAs in Detroit? I will say this. Um, it looks kind of sunny. It does look kind of sunny. That it's stock a, video probably from three it, years ago. We just it, keep rerunning it. Also, looks like a lot of pollen. That ain't from this a week. A lot of pollen. Wait, a lot dude, of pollen, too. They got six inches of snow yesterday. <laughs> so what are you talking about? <laughs> that's a lot of pollen. A lot of pollen. That's, that's, that's what we're talking about.